DocuWare has positioned itself to help many organizations that have deployed cloud office suites and are looking to augment with content management capability. Let's take an example of a human resources application. Here, I'm in my OneDrive folder and I see a resume that needs to be stored and put into a workflow. I can do this very easily by opening this up as if I were going to edit it and save it right into my DocuWare tray. So you see that I'm browsing out. I can find the DocuWare Windows Explorer component. I tell it that I would like it to go into my document tray. I hit save, and once I choose to store this document within DocuWare, there's an acknowledgement that the document has been successfully archived within the system. So now that the document's in my document tray, all I have to do is index the document very quickly, and then I can make it part of my digital repository. Right now, I am just using one-click indexing to show you how easy it is to file things away within DocuWare. Now, there's a very robust set of workflows already in place within this environment so that the recruiting and the onboarding process will already have started. So we can see some tasks being generated, but more importantly, I think I'd like to point out some of the security methodologies. So we're going to log in as Elizabeth Cash. Elizabeth Cash has done a search in the employee file, file cabinet, and we now see that the new resume is now stored there. So because she's the finance manager and this resume is stored with the Department of Finance, she has access to view that resume. But if we look at her right-click context menus, we see that she can't edit it and she can't delete it. That's because there is a governance mechanism in place called an index profile. And that index profile is very specific for finance documents, which identifies the fact that if the department is equal to finance and the security level is departmental, anyone covered by this profile has very specific things they can do and can't do. And I'll point out here that she cannot edit the documents. So if I were to log in as Simon Stone, the human resource manager, we see that he has access to many more documents because he is the manager. And if he were to right click on that resume, he has the option to choose edit in Office for the web. Now this allows him to collaborate live and directly on stored documents with permission set properly. You'll see that Erica is putting in some notes live to show the collaboration potential. Whereas my blinking cursor before the word Joe awaits my changes to be made. Obviously, one would need an N365 subscription to use this functionality. So I'm going to have Erica erase her edits and change the name up here to test doc. And when I close this document and I save it, the document is replaced in the repository just as I had edited it. So if I open it, I see now it says test doc as opposed to be the candidate's name. The lifecycle of this content is controlled by DocuWare at this point. So when the document is stored, there's a rule in place within the document types definition that says that when resumes are stored, they're given the security level of departmental and employee with retention period of one month from the store date, and that all can be set up when we first configure the system, or it can be changed as necessary as time goes on.